All right, guys, I'm going to give you the best defense in Madden 22 right now. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click subscribe down below. It's completely free to do that. And I also wanted to let you know about my, my uh, true fan membership. This is something that I started at the end of Madden 21, and I'm actually really excited to go a little deeper in Madden 22. And basically what it is, is it's a Patreon. It's $5 a month. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. And what you get with that is you get a private Discord server where you can chat with me as well as uh, the members of our community. You also uh, are going to be able to get access to 12 exclusive videos every single month where I bring Break down the meta offenses the meta defenses and also how the pro players are using those schemes on the MCS circuit so if you want to get access to all of that exclusive content that's not available anywhere else all you gotta do is join the true fan membership it's five bucks a month and you can cancel it at any time the link is down in the description now guys I have to admit um, I have been in the lab non-stop since Madden 22 came out and I think I finally figured out a way that you can run this LB Cross 3 Show 2 out of the Nickel 335 odd to the point that I believe it's the best blitz in the game. And I'm going to give you three different ways to run this, actually four different ways uh, to run this pressure that are going to be good against Max Protect. They're going to be good against five-man uh, protection passive pressure, and they're just going to give you some of the best pass rushes that you've probably seen in Madden 22. Now, to do this, really important, you want to make sure that you have auto flip set to off, and we're just going to come out in the play flipped. We're not going to worry about flipping the play at the line of scrimmage. We're just going to come out in the play flipped, and I'm just going to come out in this play uh, curls, uh, curl, or let me just try to find a, a good play here. I'm going to come out in corner strike. And as you say here, um, you see that I'm in flipped here. So I'm going to come out LB cross th three show two flipped. This is from the three three five odd playbook. And if you want the full scheme out of this three three five odd, we're going to be having some content for you soon on this. Um, but to get the latest updates, just text that number at the top left of the screen. Text the word Madden to two zero eight two one eight six nine zero zero. All right, guys, LB cross three show two. And what we're going to do here is we are simply going to press coverage and then we're going to basically spread our defensive line and then we're going to crash our defensive line down and what I like to do with this um, is I'm just going to basically zone out of that so you see here we've got a cover three basically a cover three Mabel type of coverage on the right side and if I have a chance I'll bring this inside third down a little bit just to get better coverage um, but what you're going to see is this is a four man passive pressure look and this is not exactly designed to come in completely free every time. It's more of a, a passive type of rush. And what you're going to see at the snap of the ball here is I'm just going to kind of basically try to occupy this guard. And you'll see that this looping blitz angle will occasionally come in free. It doesn't come in free every time, like I said, but it does come in free enough that makes it worth your while. So that little looping, blutes, uh, little looping um, blitz angle is actually something, in my opinion, that you just want to kind of keep your eye on. This is something that I really like to do this year. If you crash your line to the left, you're going to see a little bit more success with this. But sometimes, like you said there, you know, he got picked up. But that's okay because, again, we're getting this passive pressure. This is a way that you can have really good coverage, but at the same time get some pressure at the quarterback. Now, another way that we can do this uh, basic concept here um, is through the use of contains. If we use the contain rush off that adjustment, you're going to see here that you're going to get a little bit more of a contain type of rush, and there you see that four-man pressure coming completely free at the quarterback. So my setup on that last play, all I did was I spread my line. I'm going I'm to crash my line um, towards the, the, the running back side, so towards the looping blitz angle. And then what you're going to see here is I am going to just simply contain at the end of that. And you're going to see that this defense, this is probably the most consistent for getting these loopers in. But as you can see, I forgot to drop that linebacker on the right. So let me do that one more time. And then we'll get into the next pressure, which is going to be completely 100% consistent. Um, it's just adding another blitzer to uh, the equation. So anyways, just drop your hard flats. This is going to give you the ability to stop flats and corner routes on both sides of the field. Snap the ball. And what you're going to see is that loopy pressure coming in. That's the most consistent type of pressure that I've seen from that loop. And then now we're going to basically add onto this basic concept. So all we're going to do is we're going to spread our defensive line. We're going to press coverage. 
We're going to bring this safety kind of over the guard. That's where I like to stand over the guard. And then we're just going to crash our line to the left. And then that's it. We're just going to crash our line to the left. And what you're going to see is we're going to put that linebacker on the right side into a zone. And now you're going to see this five man uh, pressure completely scream. It's either going to come through the A gap or it's going to come off of the loop, the loop rush. Now, uh, one thing that I will tell you is whenever you're trying to send the five man, I have found it's a little bit better to crash the line down directly down at the at the screen because you're going to see the angle we're going to create for this left side guy here in just a second. So take a look at this left side guy. You see that little loop angle? That's exactly what we're looking to get. And as you can see there, we're getting sack fumbles with a five man pass rush. Now the beauty of this blitz is there's so much that you can do off of it. I don't have time to get into all of that in this video, but I, I wanna show what it's gonna do specifically against a blocked uh, running back. So I'm just gonna block the running back here. And again, I'm gonna be kind of like right in this little pocket. And if the running back blocks, I'm gonna kind of commit a little bit more um, down. So you're gonna see her just kind of come really down and look at this loop you see there, um, he comes basically completely free uh, to the quarterback. Now, if I were to come down just a little bit more with my blitzer, um, I'm gonna be able to occupy the running back. One thing that I will tell you this year, that is actually a, kind of a concept of old, that is really good this year, especially against things like gun bunch, is to man up onto the running back. Sometimes it's a little finicky in practice mode, but you see I'm gonna man up on the running back, snap the ball, see how he cut, sucks into the inside, and there I didn't hold for just enough, but you should see, you're gonna get this, this five man in against this blocked running back more times than not. And again, just bear with me a little bit here, but you'll see it will come in consistently. I've been running this blitz pretty much nonstop in practice mode, so it might be giving me a little bit of issue. But again, just crash your line down. And then as you can see right here, if you wanna contain on the edge, you certainly can, but I find it to be most successful just to kind of jab in here, pull that running back in, and then you've got that looping pressure or that, um, that edge rush on the outside. So now I wanna show you the same blitz, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna send the running back out on a route. So we're gonna send the running back on a route, but we're gonna block the tight end. Just wanna show you kind of two different kind of formulas of blocking. So you see here, this is the setup. Oh, the running back goes out, so I gotta go get him. And as you can see, the looping pressure comes in completely free, even though they blocked a tight end, okay? So now what I wanna do is I wanna show you the tight end and I wanna show you the um, I want to show you the tight end and the running back blocking. Now this one in particular um, is not 100% cons consistent, but if you really work at your user here and where you're going to stick, you'll find some consistency with this. So snap, come pull down, and you're going to see this loop pressure. It gets isolated, and I will say this, I will say this, it gets a really fast shed. It may not completely come in free, and we're going to we're going to show you how to get it completely free um, here in just a second. But what you will find is it's actually still really a consistent, like a quick block shed sack. You're gonna get quick pressure out of this. So again, I'm just kind of hovering right in here, snap the ball and then max protect. And you see that time again, I just couldn't quite get off that edge. But typically what I've found is that that will consistently, um, that will consistently at least shed even against a seven man um, or a seven man protection. Okay, so last thing I want to show, or one more thing I want to show, and then I'm going to show you the way that you can get it in against a max protect uh, every time. So all we're going to do here is we're going to contain off that outside just to get it a little bit wider. And I just want you to watch here. See it? See there it is right there. That's what I'm talking about. So you've got it coming from both sides. That looper will sometimes come in, and then you. Like, this is against max protect. You're only blitzing five people, um, which I think is super crazy to me. And if you wanted to, guys, you could actually zone off that left side guy. Um, so I could just literally, I could do something like this. Um, this is a really good defense for gun bunch, in my opinion. We see basically we're only blitzing four people. Uh, obviously, we're containing. But, but take a look, this is gonna get you a spy on the field. And now, look at that contain rush, completely free, 100%, every single time, look at that. It's not every single time, but it is very, um, it, it happens enough that it's really, really good. So again, I'm just gonna sit like this, I'm spreading my D-line, crash my line down, contain rush off the outside just to get that linebacker to go a little wider. And then all I'm doing is I'm zoning off. So I'm only blitzing four people, and this is gonna come in and completely free against max protect, probably about 80% of the time. So you see that time the looper came free. See how that's an interesting little, see how that dynamic works? 
Sometimes it's the looper and sometimes it's the edge rush. This was a concept that was really good in Madden 18 and it's really good again this year. Now, if you really want to gas up your opponent and you don't want to have to worry about whether or not they're blocking, you know, whether or not it's going to come in, you just want to get some pressure. Um, what I like to do with this is I'm going to take that linebacker on the right and I'm going to put him in a hard flat. And then especially this is really good for gun bunch. And I'm going to send the slot corner right off the outside. So I'm sending the slot corner right off the outside. I've also got the looper and I'm still doing my man up concept on the running back. And what you'll see here is we're going to get completely free pressure from the loop. We get double two people completely free at the quarterback. And all the, here's the cool part about that. We only sent six. So, you know, most of the time when you're sending pressure, especially against max protect, uh, you need to send at least seven in this, in this example here, you're seeing, I'm literally sending uh, four people off the left. I'm sending six people at the quarterback, snap the ball. And oftentimes you'll get these, that looper is going to come free. You see, you get one free. Sometimes it's a looper. Sometimes it's the edge rush. Sometimes it's a slot corner, but I'm just telling you right now, this is the best defense in the game. This is the best defense that I've found at least to this point in the game. And I will tell you one other thing. The four man pressure is probably my favorite pressure. Um, and the reason why I like that pressure so much and what you can do is you can kind of build off of this. So another thing that you could do if you wanted to, I just personally really do like the four man pressure. Um, I think it's the better, the best of all of them combined um, because you don't have to put a lot of resources into it to get this heat. But what you're gonna see here is look at what this will do against five. Um, if they're just blocking five, you see that that looper comes completely free just like so. So try this out. Let me know what you think. I think this is the best blitz so far in Madden 22. Um, it's just a really, really, really smooth blitz. And it's all up to your user, really. You really want to kind of, if you if you can get that user to kind of jab just like that, then you're going to see that you're going to get that edge rush a little bit better. That time I got picked up. But guys, test it out. You're going to have a lot of fun with it. It's a really fun defense to run. And I'm telling you, this looping blitz angle is really, really good. Um, you know, if you don't want to spread the line either, um, you can try with that. Again, the big concept is that four man angle. That four man rush right there is so daggone good. There you see the looper got picked up that time. But anyway, just mess around with this, this concept. Um, I'm going to be doing some more tutorials on this. So if you want to, I would encourage you to join the true fan membership. We're definitely going to put a little bit more of an in-depth version of this defense on there for the guys over there. So if you want to join that true fan membership, it's just five bucks a month. Gets you access to all of my offensive and defensive content over there, as well as my pro player breakdowns. We're actually break down what the best players in the game are doing. So again, if you want to get access to all that content, I'm going to leave a link to my true fan membership in the description. But as of right now, this, this blitz right here, this way, probably the best defense that I've had uh, all season long in terms of like pressure. Um, this kind of brings me back to like Madden 18, Madden 17 when this was such a good play. I think it was Madden 19 as well, but I'm pretty sure it was mainly Madden 18 that it was really good. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. That's pretty much the idea. And the cool part about this is you have really good user from this. Um, and it's actually super, super consistent. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later.